always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. It's time for a hard reset. Oh my god. In theory, the AR reconstruction should allow me to use various sources of surveillance data to rebuild past events. Hang on, are you dead sick? If you are, I need help with something. We'll do our best to help out. What's your problem? Okay. I'm ready. Keep talking. I'll overload the CPUs to cause a power spike and destroy the battery unit. The electromagnetic pulse should destroy both the server and the drones. So, you know, run! Oh my days, you telling me clan killy gangsters done bomb it? RDX Nitrogen, and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. The Feds knew it wasn't dead, so that did the bombings, but it kept letting everyone believe it. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. Please, Brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating RBN and clan Kelly in the bombings. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion include... People have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. Looks like they implanted him with something. Thanks for the distraction. Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. She considers herself to be untouchable. You made me a slave. All of us. The facial recognition AI was created by BrokerTech. I have all the blackmail data, and dear God, people are disgusting. Uh, now? Hey, you made it. Dead good. Glad to establish a foundation of trust. I'm ready to show you the contract I'm investigating. I watched my mother succumb to motor neuron disease, and her loss made me realize that death comes to us all. Hello. My name is Sky Larson. I'm CEO of BrokerTech, and this is Daybreak. You call that a life? Sky, where do you get your twisted ideas? I will not become another of your sick creations. Sky, where am I? I can't see. Sweetheart, please, please don't do this to your own mom. Let me die in peace. You never believed in me, Mother. Believe now. Finally, we will delete the limbic code. How can I be of service, Sky? Turn the light on and off. Very good. You knew I was not your real daughter. You wanted me to see this. That's why you let me in. Yes. Welcome. I don't know. You! I can't see! I'm afraid! I'm afraid! Listen to me. What you saw in my lab, that was nothing more than the early stages of a very important Look experiment. Look around. Let me bring about the next stage of human evolution. Whatever you decide, she can't stop you. I can't stop you. The choice is yours. Please, don't do this to me. Hey, soft air. You must be rubbing off on me, cos I just wanted to say you did good back there. I'm glad to know I can trust you lot. You're free to use the 404 hubs and complete contracts. I'll be out there, fighting the good fight. Hope I'll see you out there too. 
Laters. If technology brings out the worst, capital brings out the worst in technology. Senior academic outfit tells us how big business repurposes big data. Historically, what's happened, of course, is that people have traded their, their privacy for their convenience as, as smartphones and other kinds of technology came in and became mass-consumed, mass-used items and mass objects. Gradually, people were so attracted to the, the affordances of these technologies. Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Bit suspicious timing-wise, if you ask me. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. AI giant Broker Tech announced today that they are cancelling Daybreak, the neural mapping technology designed to allow people to live forever. A spokesperson for the company told press the decision to shutter the project was made out of respect for the memory of their founder, the late Sky Larson. What the company has in store following the death of their illustrious leader remains to be seen.
Malaji has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Let's meet Mystery Guy. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. My guy is proper paranoid, isn't he? To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Yes, I understand. Control, we are ready to engage. <laughs> I won't hesitate to shoot you. All local units, the suspect is in the water. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. I'm looking at the windows. Can I try one of those, Bagley? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. Check. Watch yourself. Whoa. I had them. Where did they go? Disengage. Suspect has disappeared. Ah, you're not joking about the traps, Bagley. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Check. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Move! 
one more muscle chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Okay now, just be calm. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? No, nah, nah. We're more like the Albion's bad dream. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Wait! Albion knows you're in London. Now you can blow me up if you want. But run! Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't uh. you? Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking need you, Amish! Look, Cass is worse than you know. Believe me, we know. Why else would I be risking my ass here, huh? Maybe, cause Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking Merc's work. Listen, we want your help. Cass is no friend to us. He tried to kill us, and he had a hand in the bombings. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! An Albion squad's closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck, think, Amish, think. Shit, fine. <sighs> Table, I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! Move it, move it! Shit! Don't just stand there. Albion won't be fussy about who they shoot. Fuck.
that is how the structures now. and the profit that line. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. 